Hey guys, DMV Solar Rider back with another video. Somewhat unplanned, like my Indian demo day. Before I forget, um, I'd certainly appreciate it if you hit that like button. I put my ride or ride related content out every Friday, so hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you're made aware when my new videos are out. I don't know how, but I got an email from Harley Davidson, like a marketing email, not to me about this you know contest to win a harley davidson based on you know uh, entries and a drawing and they uh they issue you know entries based on the number of miles you actually ride a motorcycle in a period of time so i figured well i mean i'm riding i might as well try it out why not so i downloaded the app and then my first two really long rides about 600 miles I of course forgot all about it but the other day I was out on like a 500 mile jaunt you know just out cruising in the neighborhood the DMV neighborhood <clears throat> and I remembered about it and I turned it on and all that but anyways long story short is when you download the Harley app they have a section for like Harley events and I was looking through it and one of them was what seems like an Indian demo day, but at my local Harley Davidson dealer, Harley Davidson of Washington, DC, which is out in Fort Washington, Maryland. And as far as I can tell, you basically show up and you can ride whatever bikes you want, as long as you're willing to provide, like answer a few questions after each ride, I guess about your experience on that particular bike. Now, it, I, I don't know if it's gonna be just like Indian's demo day or if it's a little different, they asked me what time I was going to, you know, I called them to see if I could film, if they were letting people ride who had no, no plans to buy a bike, and they said absolutely. Um, they said, you know, no problem filming or whatever. But they asked me for a specific time, and at Indians Demo Day is just, you know, cattle call. Everyone shows up, the bikes are there all day on, you know, they do rides every, you know, probably one ride every 30 minutes. So I'm not sure how exactly this is gonna go. We might just be able to ride one bike or we might be able to ride them all. I'm also interested to see if the, they have the live wire there. That could be a lot of fun. Um, I have not read a review of the live wire. That's been bad. I mean, as far as the actual performance of the motorcycle, everyone seems to really enjoy it. You know, people have different thoughts on the price, obviously, and battery life. Set all that aside. I mean, I, I think Harley's been pretty clear that that bike isn't about commercial success. It's about proof of concept. All right, guys. We're at Harley Davidson of Washington, D.C., I'm going to go in and see what's what. We'll be back. All right, guys. We're on the live rot wire. No clutch. Oh, that's so freaky deaky. I love it. I am almost laying down on this motorcycle Oh, I this is fun. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. All your weight is on your hands and your wrists. There's a little hum from the engine. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Good job, Harley Davidson. You made a fun machine for sure. Flickable. Everyone does test rides, talks about, oh, it's so flickable. Every motorcycle is flickable. Oh, 
this is amazing well done well done and you know you could get really used to just twisting the throttle and using the brakes and not having another care in the world and it's so smooth that engine you know the electrical engine is super smooth I'm trying to behave guys I'm not trying to zip past my sales guy and I'm still thinking about how impressed I was with the road glide I'd rather be on that because that's hypothetically a motorcycle I could buy you won't catch me buying a $30,000 motorcycle that I'd have to sneak into my apartment to charge <laughs> that ain't gonna happen I dig it you know guys if they could figure out a way to make one of these for 15 grand just an engine and wheels lighter I mean not, it doesn't feel heavy I don't mean it that way I just mean so you could get it into more places to charge it oh they would have a hit on their hands but for $30,000 it's just not feasible man And I love this riding position when I don't actually have to shift or use my toes, which is so weird on pegs of any kind for me now. I like accelerating in this position. You can ameliorate the pressure on your wrist and your hands by gripping the tank with your knees to an extent, you know. Oh, this is a lot of fun. I would love to have this out in the twisties just on the highway forget that really impressed I'm I'm surprised I ve I'm very surprised how impressed I am with this bike and the road glide road glide was really nice guys but we'll wrap up all these rides on the way home I'll, I'll cobble together a one video for all these Harleys Let me just tell you guys, I could have owned the road glide up ahead had I chosen to. <laughs> I'm in a 25, 30 mile an hour residential neighborhood. I'm not trying to kill anyone, especially me. Effortless, effortless acceleration. Holy smokes, effortless. And it makes a little, faint little hum, so it's not like you're just purely in silence. And I will say this, guys. I'm not used to these right and left turn signals, it's annoying. But I'll say this. I'm being tame on the throttle guys I'm not trying to get past my sales guy unbelievable barely twisted the throttle and I was at 80 oh my god I want this I want this <laughs> This is a fun machine, dude. Oh, man. Oh, if you could just figure out a way to actually be comfortable on it, it would be wonderful.
I want, I want it. You want it? Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't care. This thing is badass. This it? thing rocks. Red. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys. That is it for the live rider. We will wrap this up on the road. Well, guys, we are done at Harley Davidson in Washington, D.C. So, as we head back to Virginia, what are my wrap up thoughts? I thought it was just phenomenal. I mean, so cool to just zip up on that throttle and you're immediately flying down the road. Very quiet, just the faintest hum. I think it's actually, I want to say that hum is manufactured into the bike, so there's something to hear. I could be wrong, but I really enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. Super, you know, sporty seating position. Not for me for, you know, something I could ride for hours a day. But honestly, I actually felt better on that bike than I did on the FTR. It's a little more aggressive than the FTR. But I think the reason is because I didn't actually have to shift. That I wasn't getting my, my the toe of my boots stuck between the peg and the shifter. I, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with that. I had a lot of trouble with that on the Sportster. But I think, you know, most of my riding has been with big floorboards. You know, I put floorboards on my Scout. I've obviously got them here on the Chieftain. You know, I actually had to adjust the shift lever on my Scout. I had to raise it up a bit to make room for my shoes. And once I did that, it was no issue. So I'm sure on all these bikes, if I was able to adjust those things to my needs, they would all be great. But man, I love the live wire. If the live wire was much less expensive, and something you could feasibly roll into your place to charge in a wall socket, I'd love to have one of those. That'd be fun. It, like I said, it's a fun machine. That's all it is, you know. Saddlebags? Nah. Tour bag? Who are you kidding? Just give me a, a motorcycle that fast, that's rechargeable, and I'll be happy. You know, ultimately, I'd want the battery to last a lot longer. What I would tell you guys is if you're in the market for a Harley Davidson, or you're in the market for a motorcycle and you want to go and look at Harley you need to go and see him you know he's the kind of sales guy you like he's not trying to sell you bikes the bikes sell bikes he's trying to get to know you to find out what do you like to do on a bike what kind of riding to use his experience and his knowledge to help you select the bike that is best for you and that's that's what I like in salespeople that I had the same exact experience at motorcycles at Dulles and and to me that's that's very valuable anyways if you like this video again i'd appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button and my ride and ride related videos come out on fridays so hit the subscribe button click that notification bell and you'll be made aware when my next video is out and as always those things help more people get access to my content which in turn helps me get more feedback and build a community, which is all I'm trying to do. Anyways, until the next video, DMV Solar Rider is out. Ride safe.